I did a review a while back on a Squire Classic Vibe Telecaster I bought. I still love that guitar, but I wanted to try some different pickups. The Classic Vibe Tele has plenty of twang, but I was looking to get a bigger, fatter, rounder, thicker, chunkier sound. I considered adding a humbucking pickup to the neck position, but I like the vintage look of the original pickups. After a lot of searching and researching, I decided on a Fender Custom Shop Texas Special Telecaster pickup set. These pickups seem to be a perfect match for what I was looking for, and they get tons of rave reviews. I also decided at the same time to go ahead and replace the stock bridge with a USA-made Fender Telecaster bridge. I wanted to do a fair comparison of the stock Classic Vibe Tele pickups with the new Texas Specials. So before I installed the new pickups, I recorded several small audio samples with clean crunch and gain sounds for comparison. I started out by removing the strings and the pickguard and unscrewing the neck pickup from the pickguard. Be careful not to lose the small mounting springs when you remove the neck pickup. It's nice that the Squire Classic Vibe has shielding paint that completely covers the interior cavities and foil shielding on the back of the pickguard. Next, I remove the bridge plate assembly with the bridge pickup. You can't just remove the bridge pickup, you have to remove the whole assembly. Then I remove the control plate to expose the wiring and the switch. The Texas Special neck pickup has three wires, a white, a black, and a yellow. The black and yellow are ground, and the white wire goes to the switch terminal. The bridge pickup has two wires, a yellow and a black. The black is ground, and the yellow goes to the switch. And if you get confused, there's a diagram in the pickup box that shows you the wiring. This all went smoothly without any problems. Next, I remove the stock pickups and set them aside. The Texas Special pickups have thicker cloth-covered wires, which are more like the vintage pickups and are a little tighter to fit through the tunnels to the control cavity, but they do fit. Once the wires were in place for both pickups, I soldered the new pickups to the switch and the ground to the back of the closest pot to the switch. This is a little tricky because you have to secure the wires in place while you hold the soldering iron and feed the solder. You can use alligator clips or forceps to try to hold the wires, but it's easier if you have another person to help. Don't forget that on the classic Vibe switch, the wires from the pickups go across two terminals each. The white wire is the neck pickup, and the yellow wire is the bridge pickup. On the neck pickup, the Texas Special pickups come with mounting screws for the original mount, which is held in place by wood screws. The Classic Vibe neck pickup mounts to the pickguard, so you'll need to use the stock screws to mount the new Texas Special neck pickup. You'll need to drill out the holes on the neck pickup and very carefully turn and work the stock neck pickup screws into the new hole until it grabs and threads through. If you drill a hole that's too big, the screw will just slip through and won't thread, so this is a little bit tricky. If you have a tap and die set, even better, because you just tap a new hole into the pickup and you're good to go. I did it the hard way, but it worked. The Texas Special pickups come with surgical rubber tubes to use in place of the springs to mount the pickups. I opted to use the stock springs on the neck pickup. You could go either way, but I just used the stock springs. Mounting the bridge pickup is a little easier, and here I use the surgical tubing instead of the stock springs. The tubing is nice because it stays in place on the screws, so it makes it easier to line up and reassemble. Don't forget to make sure that the grounding wire coming from the control plate tunnel has bare wire and is exposed to make a good contact with the underside of the bridge plate. Remember to keep the wire insulation tucked in the hole and expose only the bare wire, which will get flattened down when you screw down the bridge plate. I installed a USA Fender bridge plate, which included standard head as opposed to stock Phillip head screws. The standard head screws are a little more like the originals, and I use them to reattach the bridge plate to the body. Thankfully, all the screws are the same diameter. The holes in the body lined up with the new bridge plate, so I didn't have to drill any new holes. Before I buttoned everything up, I tested the pickups to make sure everything was working properly. Just carefully tap on each pickup with a screwdriver or something metal and go through the switch positions to make sure everything works before you reassemble it. Everything worked good, so it was time to screw the control plate down and the pick guard back into place. After restringing the guitar, I was ready to plug it in and test it. 
And yes, the strings fit through the holes in the back and lined up with the new bridge plate without a problem. It sounded great and everything worked. I was happy with the sound and now it was time to re-record the audio samples with the new pickups for a comparison. Both sets of pickups, the stock and the new Texas specials, were recorded exactly the same with the same settings and match gain. Both were recorded directly to the computer using Logic with three different amp simulations, clean, crunch, and gain. So what you're hearing is an exact match setting for setting of both pickup sets as close as I could possibly get for the comparison. Okay, so here we go. The Fender Custom Shop Texas Special Pickups versus the stock Squire Classic Vibe pickups. The pickups for the audio test will be labeled Pickup Set A and Pickup Set B, and I'll let you know at the end which one was which. And don't just skip forward to the end, because I'd really like to know what you guys think and see if you were surprised by the results. <laughs>
Okay, there you go. Pickup set A was the Squire stock classic vibe pickups. Pickup set B was the Fender Custom Shop Texas Special pickups. Surprised? To my ears, I had a hard time telling them apart. I expected a big difference, like night and day. I thought it would be extremely obvious which pickups were which. But to my ears, there isn't as big a difference as I'd imagine. In some of the samples, it's really hard to tell which is which. And just for reference, the resistance reading on the classic vibe stock pickups was 7.6K for the bridge pickup and 7.43K for the neck pickup. The Fender Texas Special neck pickup was 9.1K and 102 for the bridge pickup. On the box that the Texas Special pickups came in, the specs are listed as 9.5K for the neck and 105 for the bridge. So according to my meter, they were not quite as hot as the spec. Now I'll let you in on a little glitch in the test. And this was just me being lazy. When I changed out the new Texas Special pickups, I also changed the string gauge from 9s, which were on the stock pickups, to 10s, which were on the Texas Special pickups. So the Texas Special pickups had an advantage that should have made them obviously bigger and fatter sounding. If you thought the comparison was pretty close like I did, that just goes to show you how close the original pickups are to the Texas Special pickups. If they can stand up in a blind test to one of the most expensive Fender Custom Shop pickup sets, that's saying a lot. So what did you guys think? Did you think it was a close comparison? Let me know in the comments which pickups you liked and why. Thank you for watching and listening, and don't forget to like and subscribe. And please check out my music online pretty much anywhere music is streaming. Just search Brooks Reed.